not all flight lessons are created equal and we're going to prove that today with this flight lesson with Sienna. She wants to take her senior photos and so we need to find a beautiful location near our hometown in Alaska and I know just the spot but it's a difficult spot to land in and take off from. So it's going to be a great lesson for her. She's just started her flight training and at the very beginning stages here, she's going to get a really good look on why it's so important to pay attention to the performance numbers and a bunch of the other things that we've already been talking about. So let's go jump in the airplane and let's go do this flight lesson with Sienna. We're gonna get right into the lesson here and jump in the airplane. I've got cameras all over the airplane and they're rolling and you guys can be a fly on the cockpit wall and just see what this process is like. Now a quick introduction to Sienna. She is a student pilot. This is her fifth lesson, so she's in the very beginning stages. She is taking off actually pretty well, but uh, the landings come later. So she has some more work to do and we're just introducing things along the way. Again, this flight, very unique. It's going to be a cool opportunity for her to see some new and different things that will be fundamental here at the very beginning of her training. Did I frighten you? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Homer, traffic 2423 in a form from Bravo North. We're taxiing out for a back taxi runway 22. Actually, you know what? We're just going to take off this way. May verify the wind. Yeah, it's fine. Homer, traffic 2423 in a form, change of plans. We're at Bravo North and we're taking off runway 4. We'll be right traffic over the spit. Okay. Slide your heels down to the floor. Full power, maintain that center line. Good. Okay, airspeed alive, engine is green. Good, keep that pressure in on that pedal. And now you can lift off, feel it shaking. There we go, good job. Oh, yep, you got that right rudder. Got that right rudder in there. And now you can start that turn. Ooh, yes. More right rudder. There you go. Okay, that's good. We'll kind of parallel the runway here and keep climbing. Then we're going to climb along the spit like we usually do to cross over there, just to cross over, and then we'll start following the islands over to Soldovia. So, um, last time we worked a lot on the rudder. When you're in a climb like this where you're slow and you're climbing, it's almost always the right rudder. Like even if you're gonna turn left and try to coordinate it, you almost just let off some of the right rudder pressure to go that direction and stay coordinated. All right, there's your cruise altitude. Just start slightly ahead of time. Remember what it looks like outside when you push the nose down. A little bit more, a little bit more, something like that. And you can kind of verify that with your instruments that it stopped and then you can take off your control pressures with your trim kind of lock it in and then you can even reduce some power we want about 2400 down here good nice and slow i like slow adjustments and once you're ready once you have it dialed in how you want it and turn that way and start to follow the islands so just as we have weather in Homer, we also have weather we can dial in in Soldovia as we get closer. Probably not going to hear it until we're almost right on top of it. But we'll still want to get that and listen to it. You can just focus on making nice coordinated turns. And staying at 3000. Start to try to listen to this, it might be choppy. Automated weather observation. Oh. Two, two, one. Wind off. Visibility oh. one zero. 
Sky condition scattered. 3,300. Temperature 0, 6 Celsius. Dew point minus 0, 2 Celsius. Altimeter 2, 9er, 9er, 1. Remarks. Density cold. altitude oh, minus good. 1,000. Thunderstorm information. The wind's calm, that means basically we can choose Seldovia any runway. Airport, Seldovia, Alaska. Automated weather observation. Um, the easiest way to approach is landing south because there are fewer trees. It's just an easier approach. I'm going to show you the cool way to land to the north. This is kind of like when you get to the pinnacle of your private pilot training, you would be able to come here and land here. Um, it's a small airport. It, it means that all the skills you have of flying the airplane, how it should be flown and landing right on a spot, it all comes together because it, it's you don't have a lot of room for error. So you'll kind of see why. Um, so I'll be flying the approach. Uh, you can be there and like feel with me, but it's pretty cool. It's a really cool little airport. Again, brings all your skills to bear. And you'll see that both on takeoff and landing. I'll kind of like talk through it as I'm doing it. All right, believe it or not, we're gonna start descending. So we can pull a little bit of power and let the nose come down and you can trim for a descent. Much? About 500 feet per minute. Power can come back maybe 2100. That should be enough to get that nose down. Okay, traffic, Skyhawk 242, 3 4. 2500 over McDonald's Spit. We're descending for left traffic runway 34 into Soldovia. So that's Soldovia Bay right there. We can get the nose down just a touch more. We can give up some more airspeed and. There you go, that should be enough. Important to like find the happy medium. If you plan ahead of time, it's it's nice because it'll be comfortable on the passenger's ears. 500 feet per minute is kind of that number. Okay, the airport is right down by that water that's inland. So you see, like it almost looks like a little lake. It's inland. Oh. You're about to see the airport in a couple seconds. Yeah, I don't see it quite yet. Yeah, it's hard to see it through the sun. I, I see it now. It's like a long. I also don't know what I'm looking for. It's just an empty space, basically. So it almost looks like a road cut out of the trees, oh, okay. and it's over here, and the water's on the other side of it. So the water kind of leads to it, and then it surrounds it. Okay, my controls. Your controls? My controls. There it is, kind of cool, huh? Okay, Bay Traffic, Skyhawk 2423 in a forum. Descending uh, on outside beach for Soldovia, currently 1,500 feet. Our peak gas is on both, and our carriage is fixed gear. Make sure I enriched it a little bit. Prop seatbelt switches. I'm going to use that clump of trees out like that island, and that's kind of my base. It's a lot tighter than we usually land, and I follow the waterway into the airport. And kind of start to read what the water is doing there too. It looks like there are calm spots. And when it's variable like that, it's kind of just light and variable. Like there's little wisps of wind flying around. Get it a little slower, get my first notch of flaps. Kind of wild you can land places like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, it does. The roadway just looks like a road that was washed away. Yeah, it's... It's not the giant runway in Homer, that's for sure. Of course, now the sun disappears. Yeah, behind the mountain, that's nice. You can put this up if you want. Soldovia traffic, 2-3, uniform turning in on the left base, runway 3-4, Soldovia. Second notch flaps. And this is just a lot of me looking outside, like I'm not... Like I will glance at the airspeed and I'll check every now and again, but it's just kind of feeling the energy of the airplane. And you'll start to see on the other side, like at the end of the water, you see the start of the runway right there. I'm going to slip it down. Aim 
for the edge, kind of. We have just enough juice left in for a nice little touchdown. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Plans are for just, like, miss the runway and land in the water. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> you're, you're doing a lot of things wrong if you miss the runway. And there's so many opportunities to get out of there, like, as long as you still have a little kinetic energy, you could just get out of there, you know? Just, like, even when I'm just about to land, if I powered up and I went around, like, you still have plenty of opportunity. It's like, by the time you stop, yeah, you're kind of out of everything. And there are no airplanes here. I've never seen this view of airplanes. How many are there usually? I don't know, maybe 20. So this is a good example of why you trust the performance. Well, let me say it this way. Why you check the performance of your airplane. If you weigh it down too much, you'll have problems at short strips like this, right? Especially if it's outside limitations. That's why you check the, the numbers in the book to make sure that you're that you're legal. So um, I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull around here and kind of get the airplane set up for a picture. And then we'll get a few shots. Now that we've landed in Soldovia after that beautiful and challenging approach, we're going to step out of the airplane. I'm going to put on my creative hat, get out the camera, and take some beautiful photos of this scenery and some good photos of Sienna where she can use these as her unique senior photos. So I think this is a really cool opportunity for her. Uh, I would have loved to have pictures like this when I was her age. So here they are. Here are the senior photos that we took of Sienna with uh, the mountains behind and her being just around the airplane with this small Alaskan village and it was just a really really cool opportunity for her and uh, as you can see who wouldn't want photos like this so go ahead and leave a comment below and tell us your favorite photo here of Sienna I think she'll really enjoy hearing your favorite here out of the bunch Soldovia traffic, Skyhawk 2423 uniform, departure to the north on 34. Soldovia. Come around the corner here. Come on, girl, come on, girl, come on, girl. A okay, full power. Hey, okay, we're off. Got to be really patient with the airspeed. Let it build up. See how I'm using a little bit of space this direction. I've got plenty of extra energy if I need to zoom. So now I turn this way. Actually get Illy Omna through there, that's so cool. I know that's readout. I have no idea which one's which. Illy is the one closest to us. So that's a takeoff from a tight airport. You gotta be right on your numbers, you gotta be patient. Um, remember our power off stall, or our power on, So we'd have like the power, full power and climbing, the one that's really high. So that's called a takeoff departure stall. That's why we practice those, because say that you've never flown around trees like that, someone could panic and like keep pulling up and then they stall into it. You gotta keep the wing flying no matter what. Okay, your flight controls. Flight controls? Your controls. I have a little right rudder pressure as well. I have a little extra airspeed, so you can even uh, get the nose up and climb at 80. And we'll just follow the coastline here. Pretty cool. You're getting all the cool stuff early in your training. You gotta fly with both parents and do glacier tours. You gotta go to Soldovia, take senior pictures. Fall colors. Fall colors. KB traffic, Skyhawk 2, 3 and a form, just off of uh, Soldovia, climbing to the north, currently 1500. Uh, a couple miles to the, I guess it would be west of McDonald's Pit. Right now, if you had an engine problem, where would you go? Where would I like land? Yeah. Turn up. Look around. What looks like the least sucky? <laughs> I 
don't know what I'm looking for. Anything, any... First like, off, I'm looking for dry land. Yeah, it's right in front of us, I guess. Okay, look to our side. Behind me, kind of, almost now. Spit? See those, yep, see those houses? Yeah. Like, I look, I look for the beaches that look landable, you know? Like, anything that's not a broad-faced rock is better. There are a couple beaches on that side of the island. But, like, that's a really, that's, like, the best option right now. Are you enjoying this video and want to learn more? We have an entire library of structured videos on angleofattack.com. We call this Online Ground School, and it's how you'll ace the written test required by the FAA. It's go at your own pace and all accessible right now on any device. Go check it out yourself or recommend it to your friends. Now, back to the video. Okay, almost to 3,000, that should be good. A little rock in front of us is called 60 foot rock. You'll hear them call in there sometimes, so that's where they're at. Okay, big traffic, Skyhawk 242, 3 3,000, 60 foot rock, over to Homer, last call. Homer Radio, Skyhawk 242, 3 and a form, 3,000 feet, 60 foot rock. I've got information, Juliet, and we'll be full stop. All right, you can head for the spit. 34, 23, uniform, Homer Radio, no weather, no traffic, current wind, 260 at 6. 2, 3, uniform, thank you. Well, it's great that a nice day like today did not go to waste. We touched the sky. So our traffic pattern altitude is 900. So as we get close to that, we can start to pull up. We don't have to change the power much, but that helps us slow down. Because we need to slow down for landing, right? And I can retrim on your first notch of flaps. There you go, pull her on up until she goes in. I think you just did two, my controls. So just one. So what I do is when I click it, I let my thumb off so it'll just slide right in. Now, if you if you were to keep doing that and get that angle attack high, you could get too slow and stall. So that's why I kind of like it eh, took over a little bit. Okay, let's fly parallel to the runway now. Homer traffic two three to four. I'm running uh, left downwind. Runway two two will be landing long. So here we kind of parallel. We have the engine set up. I'm gonna Run through my checklist, that looks good. Now I can turn left base. Homer traffic, 2 3 four, left base, 2 2, landing long. Okay, we don't want to forget about our rudder. I'm reducing the power just a little bit because we're getting an angle going down, right? Just kind of like step by step, getting down. A little bit of a wind pushing us this way. Really not much. So we'll fly square. Let's fly here for a second. And then you gotta kind of learn how to time your turn. So we'll start our turn now. Just so it's nice and gradual and smooth, not too steep. And nice and coordinated through this turn. This is called the base to final turn. It's our last turn at our slowest speed, so we're really careful with it. Homer traffic, two, three, and four, final runway, two, two, landing long. Now, the idea is to trim the airplane have the power setting. It just gets us this gradual slope going down, okay? I'm gonna have you help me on the the uh, round out and flare. So the power stays in. Here's where people panic and start pulling up. We're gonna wait until about right here. And this is called the round out. Now's where you start holding it off. So hold, 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 pull back a little bit more. Pull, 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 pull. pull. Call that a boop landing. Kind of boop the runway, you know? So did you feel that pressure at all? I was trying to give it to you. Did you feel the yoke me pulling back? A little bit. Okay. So more and more I'll give that to you. In fact, when we get into, uh, I told you real soon we're going to get into other lessons where you're, we're practicing landing. So you'll be doing more of that. And actually feeling all of that. So keep rolling out here you can taxi taxi to our uh, taxiway up here your hand on the power just get us there 
Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that unique flight lesson today. Definitely stepped aside from any sort of syllabus to do this just because she wanted her pictures taken, but it is a great opportunity to show her this Thai airport in the very beginning of her training and just how important it is to be skilled as an aviator, to check your performance and what that looks like in the real world. So we kind of mixed a few different things together, but it ended up being very unique and I hope you enjoyed it. So make sure you like this video with that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to stick around. There are a ton of you watching these videos that aren't subscribed, so please subscribe. And of course, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a thing in the future. Share this with your friends and until next time, throttle on. Bye.